right friends welcome back to the first capsule for 35th week the first capsule is on cabinet decisions cabinet took certain decisions and one of the important decisions is with regard to the ban on commercial surrogacy please look into this slide what is meant by surrogacy surrogacy is when a woman carries a baby for another couple and gives up the baby at birth that means when a woman carries a baby for another couple and ultimately that baby will be given to the couple that is the surrogacy and in our country commercial surrogacy is around 2 billion dollar industry as on date right and if you want more information on this during november 15 government of india imposed a ban on foreigners and at that juncture there is a surrogacy by foreigners accounted for 80% of the births in the country. Another important aspect is why foreigners are coming to our country because of the reason several countries banned commercial surrogacy. Several countries especially in Europe completely prohibited the surrogacy not only to protect the reproductive health of the surrogate but also to look at the future of the newly born. And a case in point is, in the year 2008, a Japanese doctor couple commissioned a baby in a small town in Gujarat. By the time the baby was born, the couple got separated through divorce. Under these circumstances, what will happen to the future of the child? So, several questions will arise and subsequently, due to several such incidents, Several public interest litigation petitions were filed in Supreme Court to control commercial surrogacy and at the same time 228th report of Law Commission of India also recommended banning commercial surrogacy and under these circumstances a union cabinet took certain decisions to regulate commercial surrogacy. Union cabinet has given green signal for altruistic surrogacy but banned commercial surrogacy. What is the meaning of altruistic? Altruistic means selflessness. That means money should not act as inducement without selfishness. That is known as altruistic. So, commercial surrogacy will be banned as per the cabinet decision and altruistic surrogacy will remain. Here, who are eligible? The eligible couple are childless couple after marriage if there is no child for five years and the couple should be in the age group of 23 years to 50 years for women 26 years to 55 years for men and if there is no child for five years then they can go for this surrogacy and the surrogate mother must be among the relatives and no transfer of funds Money should not act as inducement and only for medical expenses, money transactions are allowed. And another important aspect is surrogate mother should be in the age group of 25 to 35 years. That is one important aspect and surrogate mother can become surrogate only once in your lifetime. So, with these conditions, the cabinet has given green signal for altruistic surrogacy but said firm no for commercial surrogacy. Surrogacy by foreigners, homosexual couples, people in living relationships, single individuals, if they want a child through the process of surrogacy, it is a big no as far as cabinet decision is concerned and other aspects, implementation will be done through national and state surrogacy boards. The second important point is any violation that means any establishment found undertaking commercial surrogacy, abandoning the child, exploiting the surrogate mother, there will be strict punishment that is they shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term not less than 10 years and fine up to rupees 10 lakhs. And registered surrogacy clinics have to maintain records for a minimum period of 25 years. So, this is all about the decision with regard to banning commercial surrogacy and this decision was taken by union cabinet. The bill is to be introduced in parliament and there are pros and cons of this decision and wider debate is going on. 
defer and against the decision of the cabinet and subsequently the minister stated that government is ready to review some clauses and finer details will be made known once the bill is placed in parliament in the incoming session of parliament. Right friends, this is all about surrogacy. Look at the next one. Approved revised double taxation avoidance agreement with Cyprus. We discussed in detail what are the amendments when we discussed about Mauritius. Please look into that capsule. We deliberated in detail with regard to the amendments to double taxation avoidance agreement with Mauritius. And now on similar lines. Union cabinet took a decision with regard to revised double taxation avoidance agreement with the Cyprus. The main purpose of amending this double taxation avoidance agreement is to fight against round tripping and base erosion and profit shifting multinational companies by establishing their bases in some unknown countries which are tax friendly. They are avoiding tax and their major operations are in countries like India, but they establish their bases in the destinations like Mauritius, then Cyprus and this is resulting in base erosion and profit shifting. So as to prevent this, cabinet took a decision to amend double taxation avoidance agreement with Cyprus. Please look into the slide. Cyprus is towards eastern part of Mediterranean Sea, that is one important aspect. And prior to the amendment, when shares are transferred in our country, the capital gains tax is residence based. And after the amendment, capital gains tax on transfer of shares will become source based. So, this will be the major change and we discussed what is residence based, what is the source based when we discussed amendments to double taxation avoidance agreement with the Mauritius some time back. Please listen to that lecture if you want more details about the meaning of residence based and source based. Look into the next one approved memorandum of understanding with the South Africa to establish cooperation in grassroots innovation. And when our Prime Minister visited Pretoria in July 2016, intergovernmental agreement between two countries for cooperation in science and technology was signed. And now, Cabinet cleared Memorandum of Understanding with South Africa to establish cooperation in grassroots innovation. Under this, both the countries will organize jointly forums, seminars, workshops on matters pertaining to innovation. Look into the next one approved for signing memorandum of understanding between India and Myanmar for cooperation in the field of traditional system of medicine. You may ask what is meant by traditional systems of medicine. Examples are Ayush, Ayush means Ayurved, Yoga and Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha, then Homeopathy. These are all termed as traditional systems of medicine and our government created separate ministry for this. This is ministry of Ayush and Shripath S.O. Nayak is the minister for Ayush. And now cabinet cleared for signing of memorandum of understanding between India and Myanmar. Basically, it will provide structural framework for promotion of Ayush or traditional systems of medicine. Please look into this slide. This is Myanmar. And the last decision which was cleared by cabinet for signing of new air services agreement between India and Fiji. Initially, air services agreement between the two countries existed since 1974 and now it will be upgraded and basically to improve air connectivity between two countries. If someone talks about air services agreement, it is to improve air connectivity between two countries. Please look into this slide. This is a Fiji. Fiji is in South Pacific Ocean, somewhat nearer to Australia and New Zealand. Right friends, please do join for other capsules. Have a nice day. Thank you.